I was extremely blessed. I, I, a friend of mine started a company and because of my profound faith and trust in her, I didn't really question what it really was. But uh, so, and I got started working with her. She just said, hey, come work with us. And uh, this is what we're doing. We're just talking to business owners. And if we can get these business owners to switch from their existing credit card processing services, because if you think about it, Alex, every business out there accepts credit cards and debit cards. And I thought, well, yeah, that, that's true. Right? And also at the time, I was looking for some stability, for some um, financial security, I guess. And, and uh, uh, I was still in my 20s, uh, mid to late 20s, when I came across this opportunity and uh, this company. And uh, so she goes, look, that's all you're doing. Go talk to business owners and find out who they're, who they're currently processing their credit cards through, whether it be a bank or whatever company, and then just see if you can get them to switch over with us. And if you do that, Right now, every time someone, a customer or one of their a client of theirs pays them with a credit card or a debit card, you're going to put yourself in a position where you now can make a sliver or a percentage of every time they collect a payment via credit card or debit card. And I thought, man, that sounds really cool. I'm like, that's that. I mean, it was just mind boggling to me. Right. I'm, like, I'm thinking, well, well, how come I never no one. I mean, I wish I would have found this 10 years ago. You know, and, and but luckily it came around at the right time in my life uh, when I really was looking for something because by this time I had I had five kids. Actually, my wife had just given birth to number five, and she was maybe a, a couple of days old, and so I was really excited because I thought if I can put my efforts and time into doing this and pursuing this, I can hopefully generate what's called a residual income, which to me that was very attractive, right? I wanted to do and, and, and pursue something where if I went out and put forth effort and did work, uh, that it would continue to pay me on a consistent monthly basis based on the work I invest or on the time I invested in doing whatever work it was. And in this case, it was obviously credit card processing services. But uh, so I went to work, um, got started, and uh, it didn't take me long to generate my first check and my first uh, residual check. I started, uh, be, I was able to be more um, accommodating to my family and things that they wanted. And uh, as a result, the only bad thing is, you know, you start providing stuff and then they want cooler stuff, right? So then I had to work a little harder, but that's okay. And then uh, fast forward years later, all I ever wanted really was to, to make enough where I can buy um, a piece of property, land, build a house on it, and, and then watch my kids grow up there and, and play on the, in the yard, right? Um, and, and have animals and whatnot. And, and just, you know, when my kids get older, have them come over and visit and, and hang out. And that's, that was my dream. And, and uh, the neat thing is if, if you apply yourself to doing something and you do it consistently, you, you can't help but get better, right? I didn't start off being great at what I do or even remotely good. But because I did it on such a, on a, on, on a repeated basis, I, I did. I got, I got okay at doing what I do. And, and in turn, I, I was able to finally fulfill one of my lifelong dreams, which was to buy a piece of land, build a house on it. And, uh, and that's where I, we're sitting today. We're, we're um, sitting in a, on a piece of property that I was able to purchase um, several years ago. And... Man, I remember the time I purchased the property, I thought it might as well have been $10 million to me, right? Because uh, um, I didn't know if I was going to be able to afford it. But the one thing I did know that I had control over was if I kept doing and working this business on a consistent basis, and, and, when, and I was willing to go out there and pursue this and, and go through the hurdles and the challenges that existed and that I had to go through, um, I knew it would pay off in the end. And, and for me, that's exactly what happened. It paid off to the point where my, not only did my business grow, but I was able to grow my family without the concerns or worried about how am I going to provide for them. And, um, and now my, my, my kids get to enjoy this, uh, um, this great house that um, we all get to live in. And, and every, time I, every day when I wake up, I still can't believe you know, that this, this is something that I had a chance to custom build myself. But um, the, the, I think the neatest thing is, is just seeing my kids' faces and seeing their expression on their, on their faces, waking up here and being able to go outside. And I don't have to worry what time of day or night it is and whether if they're safe or not, because everything's gated, everything's fenced in, and there's 
tons of land and, and uh, the, the property is big enough where they can just roam and do whatever the, their hearts desire. And uh, that's the thing that for me, um, man, I don't, I don't know if you can put a value or a price on, if you told me, look, you're gonna be able to, to have this for your family X amount of years later, what would you be willing to do for it? Um, what would you be willing to go through? And um, I think if you took everything away and I had to start from scratch and even you, you took away my knowledge and everything of what I know, I, yeah, I, I would definitely, it'd be worth, well worth it. I would definitely do it all over again.